Philipp, next week in the European Parliament you will have two important visits. The new Austrian President van der Bellen is going to come and also the Canadian Prime Minister is going to join you. So which one is more important for you? Or are you more looking forward to Trudeau or to van der Bellen? To van der Bellen, of course. He managed to show that if you don't want to continue with a kind of neoliberal globalization agenda of the mainstream uh, political families who, who are pretty much running Europe in a grand coalition mode, you have two options, national populists or, or Greens. Mm. My question so is, of course, how many Green parties in Europe can achieve what van der Bellen did, but they did. So he made it to the second round, and guess what? He won it twice. Mm. First time by a narrow margin, second time by a significant margin. And so that shows that when, uh, well, that, that there's a possibility to convince a majority of our citizens that you can, well, take your distance with the neoliberal agenda without falling into the nationalist uh, trap, to the closed society uh, trap, the trap which divides, uh, well, well the, the political view that divides the world between them and us. Mm. And I'd like all the Greens to be able to accomplish what uh, Sasha van der Bellen did. So, I mean, he's not the youngest, he's not, as you said, glamorous, but so he, for you it's still a bit hope for Europe then, van der Bellen? Absolutely. I mean, come on. I mean, the guy has flying hours, he has, he has experience, he's, he's a someone, you know. And frankly speaking, when I look at people like Macron in France or Trudeau, uh, they appear as if they are someone, but to me it's quite superficial. It's the image more than the contents. And I, well, I will always privilege contents over, or, well, substance over, over image. Now Trudeau is coming. Yeah, exactly. So it's Justin. So everybody loves Justin. I but call him you don't. Trudeau, the, prime, the, the Canadian Prime Minister. He is coming as a sales rep. Basically, he wants to sell us a trade agreement that is not even his. It was his predecessor, Stephen Harper's, a very right-wing Canadian Prime Minister who, who, who preceded Trudeau. He negotiated a pro-big business uh, uh, trade deal between Canada and Europe. And uh, this treaty is something that we reject regardless of the nice image of Mr. Trudeau. And I, I hear many people saying, ah, no, we, with, uh, with Trump in the US, we mm -hmm. have to show that uh, we make a difference between the nice guys and the bad guys. But this is not about a treaty with Trudeau. It's about a treaty to please multinationals. So to come back to your two guests next week, for you it's clear that your Valentine is not Trudeau Absolutely not. Did Trudeau uh, decide to stop the exploitation of the tar sands, which is the worst kind of fossil fuels that we see on, the, on this planet? No. Does he question the treaty, which is a pro-big business treaty? No. So again, if it's a nice phase for the neoliberal kind of globalization, I say no thanks. This is not what, uh, what we want. And again, we are willing to discuss uh, things of common interest with Canada. It's, uh, we, well, I have a lot of respect uh, for Canada as a democracy, but then again, that does not justify that we pass just any treaty with them. Thank you very much. My pleasure.